everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Movie Night with the Youngs. I'm Brittany. <laughs> and that's Nicole. And we're just going to go through it because we've been sitting here laughing for the no joke uh, the last seven minutes because I made a mistake and now we can't go over it. So we're just going to keep going. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's Nicole, like I said. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this week, we did the movie The Last Unicorn. And if you guys have been with us, you know how our lightning rounds work. If you haven't, Nicole and I go ahead and ask each other random questions about the movie to see if they spark any kind of discussion, memories, laughing, which at this point, I don't know if we can laugh anymore because it. <laughs> we seriously have been laughing for the last five minutes. Um, I'm sure we can. Yeah, we'll see. But we were saying this this movie's hard to do questions for, especially because if you watch the episode, you know we kind of really didn't enjoy it that much. Yeah, so, I'm gonna say I didn't really like it. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's hard to think of questions. So for real, if you guys have any questions you ever think, especially our YouTube viewers, please go ahead and put it in the comments and we will use them for the next one. But for now. I'm going to go ahead and ask Nicole a random question that I have written out and we will see what her answer is. And then I will answer it as well. So lightning round. First question. Okay. We like to say, or I like to say a lot (laughs) in the, this podcast that there are things in these movies that are a little weird, but somebody made that choice to put it in here. Is there any moment in your life that you look back on and you're like, mm-hmm, that was a choice. <laughs> like maybe what? your face maybe, is serious. Well, no. Oh, I didn't feel serious, but okay. <laughs> but like going back and you're like, yeah, I definitely chose to do that. And that's how it worked out. Mm, not anything that really comes to mind though. No. I find that I'm a I'm a person I'm a person that if something embarrasses me, I tend to only remember the embarrassing part and then completely black out of the rest of the scenario. What do you mean? Like, so the first one that's coming to mind is like when I was running for uh class president in like or like going into senior year, mm-hmm. I think one of the questions that was asked during the debate is like, why do you think whatever why do you think you should be class president and i answered saying like i'm pretty sure i've spoken to every single person in our class and one girl actually said out loud i've never spoken to you <laughs> oh my gosh and i was like uh-huh that was a choice that was just for me to say and in my mind many years it just ends there mm-hmm. but then i went uh, a couple years like after co- or after college met with like some friends from high school in new york and we were reminiscing about high school and we we're talking about embarrassing moments. And I said that story and my friend Ashley was like, but do you remember what happened after? And I was like, I don't really. And she's like, you got off the stage and went down and sat and next to, to that girl and talked to her. <clears throat> and I was like, sounds like something I do, but not remembered. <laughs> like, I, I don't remember that happening at all, but everybody at the table was like, that's exactly what you did. And I was like, Oh no, I just remember like, again competently saying that and then her just being like i've never spoken to you yeah (laughs) that's too funny so that was a choice yeah uh i can't really think of anything other than like normal growing up learning from your lesson type of things well none of those to share come on give me me a bone here i can't really think of anything all right (sighs) I mean, no, no. I, I honestly can't think of it. Let me think of while we're going through the other questions. All right. Other question. <laughs> what mythical creature would you want to be? Oh, I'm pretty sure we had this question already. Well, it's another, hard. Like, round. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> I said myth- I would be a dragon. Fine. Then what mythical creature would I be? Um. Oh, oh it just hurt my neck. <laughs> being sassy <laughs> oh that's karma <laughs> um what would you be <clears throat> mm. i feel yeah, like I don't, I don't know what you would be i feel like i would be you that what was oh god 
I was gonna say you could be like a wizard type something. I was actually thinking, do you remember the fairies from Sleeping Beauty and the fat one? I think her name was Meriwether. <laughs> sure. <laughs> she was just chatty Kathy Meriwether. <laughs> yeah. I thought like they could be like her. Okay, yeah. Fairy. Fits. I would be I would love to be a wizard. We know I love yeah. wizards. Yeah. I'm saying wizard for you. Okay. <laughs> what about me? Hmm, what would you be? <clears throat> I feel like you'd be like a, a what are they called? A griffin. A griffin. Yeah, don't they have yeah, like, like the, the fly, like the yeah, flying. they have like the wings of a wings of a bird, but then like but the body like of a, a lion, lion. <laughs> but then like a head of a human. I'm pretty sure it's a griffin, right? I have no idea. Mm, what sure. did I describe? I think it's a griffin. Wait, I didn't think it had a head of a human. Then what body? What does have a head of a human? I don't know. Or you could be like Medusa. Yeah, okay. Turn people to stone. <clears throat> That's very harsh, but okay. Why is that harsh? She's, <laughs> she's, she's boss. Medusa's boss. Okay, fine. I'll take it. Or I just think of it. It only made me think of when you sneeze with your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody do that. Nobody try to do that. <laughs> it is very bad. <laughs> But that was the face that I saw as Medusa. Hmm. Why were we even doing that? Because we were watching probably- Mythbusters. Oh, and they say you can't sneeze with your eyes open. Yeah, and specifically Adam Savage like held his eyes open like you did. And you can. You hurt- well, you can, but I think there's it, a reason why I your body. I would not recommend it at we'll all. Tell them what happened to you, Nicole. It hurt extremely bad. Like went through my entire skull. <laughs> Like a shooting pain. It was bad. Wow. Well, it was pretty funny to us. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, we are not encouraging anyone no. to do this. So no, we, we weren't. We just said don't do it. Like many times. <laughs> All right. Last question, because they're so good for this one, guys. Uh, there's only one more. Well, I think we thought of a fourth, <clears throat> but I didn't write it down. <laughs> oh, well, that's <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> we talked about the soundtrack in this one, how all the music is by like one band called America. Is there a band or an artist that you would think would do the soundtrack to your life? Like if we just had like a soundtrack playing, oh. who do you think would be yours? Who do I think would do it or who would I want to do it? Well, I know you want Michael Jackson to do it, but he's not available. <laughs> exactly. So, nor is he. Nor is he making music that has anything to do with your life. <laughs> True. You're not um, in a Billie Jean situation or thriller situation. Yeah. Um. Sadly, he. Sadly. <laughs> no, sadly, he can't be available for me. Oh. Um. I. That's a hard question. It is a hard question, but I'm also just like, mm, what about who does um like all the Tarzan music? Phil Collins. Yeah, I feel like him. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean, my life's not very upbeat <laughs> right now, so <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going with Phil Collins. Hmm, I feel like. All right, maybe I was a bit strict with you because now I'm thinking, I don't know that necessarily I would have one person, but I feel like I, mine would be like a lot of, um, like, I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Like, got it. I think like that kind of 80s pop. Like, I really do like, eight, like, I make fun of all these 80s movies with these weird music in it, but like 80s mm-hmm. music, like 80s pop especially does make me very happy. Yeah. Like, it might be one of the only music genres that I'm like, oh, I guess not really a genre, but, like, it it makes me happy anytime I hear, like, music 90s from that 90s has era. some good ones, too. 90s do, but 90s was trying to go way too hard. Like, everyone was, like, thugging and, like, <laughs> really feeling it. But, like, 80s was just, like, let's just, like, you know, jitterbug. Yeah. You know, More happy-go-lucky. Yeah. yeah, like, basically that scene from Zoolander where they're going to get their own orange mocha frappuccinos. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Yeah, but it's like, I just feel like uh, that kind of, wham, should have been with you instead. Wake me up. 
As I'm making fun of Mir Farrow's singing voice, I just terribly sang. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that would be my soundtrack. Mm. Um, because even when I'm sad, like if the sad music comes in, I feel like 80s sad music ballads are still kind of peppy. Yeah. I mean, it definitely would change for everybody. You have ups and downs. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's this thing on, I mean, you don't have Instagram, but there's this thing on Instagram where it's like, you know, have you seen American Psycho with Christian Bale? Mm-mm. But have you, but do you know what he like looks yeah. like? Yeah. yeah. So there's a scene in American Psycho where he like walks in and he's listening to his like walk band and has this thing on. And it's like what everybody sees when I'm like walking into the office, but then they put on like what I'm actually listening to. And most of the time oh. it's like Broadway soundtracks or like people are trying to say that like I look really intimidating on the outside, but like inside yeah. I'm listening to like Hamilton. Well, that's funny. Um, but that's I like, always wonder about that when people are like driving. I'm like, what are you yeah. listening to? <laughs> no, what are you listening? But then sometimes I'm like, oh. Like it, you, know, you had a day yeah. <laughs> like or that's what it is um in uh again in monsters university the mom of one of the students that hang out with uh sully and mike she uh -huh. looks like a giant like she kind of looks like a pig but she's got like multiple eyes and she's like a blob and she's uh -huh. like oh hey honey like she drives them all to an event and she's like i'll just be listening to my music have a good day and she rolls mm -hmm. up the window and like, oh, like i don't know. remember that but and she's just yeah. like yeah. <laughs> Monsters University, way better than Monsters Inc. Fight mm -hmm. me. For another podcast, guys. Yeah. <laughs> see, we didn't have that many questions, but we sure can hold a conversation. Some days. <laughs> Some days. <laughs> Just yeah. But that's lightning round for the less unicorn. Thank you guys for being here. If you want, follow us on Instagram, movie night underscore podcast. Thank you for listening on YouTube. Think we're watching on YouTube. Thanks for listening on the podcast platforms. Come back next week when we do Little Nemo, which I feel like the lightning round is going to have some good questions because that movie, I'm, I have high hopes. High yeah. hopes. High That'll hopes. be our last for this category. It will be. Thank goodness. Yeah. We need we need some happy. Yeah. We need out. happy movies. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful movie night and come back next week. Bye. Bye.